Okay, so this is just an uh, update to the uh, NG Plus modeling in the uh, Blend Me Blender add on. Um, in the previous uh, um, Energy Plus tutorial, you could uh, see that there was quite a lot of manual data entry and exploding of faces and manipulating geometry. So there's a few um, helper functions that uh, will help you get this done quicker. So the first thing we'll do is I'll append, I'll open, uh, open up the append um, menu option and open up my previous uh, Energy Plus tutorial, and I can bring in all the materials from that previous tutorial. So we don't need to manually enter data for each new case that we're dealing with. Um, what I might just do is start up my add-in, of course. So user preferences, add-ons, uh, blend me. Um, now, what that's done is um, bring in all my previous materials. So if I select this outer shell here, get rid of the default material, I can actually add 100 millimeter concrete to that. And similarly, if I select my windows and get rid of that, I can use the six millimeter float glass that was in the uh, previous, um, we used in the previous Energy Plus tutorial. Okay. Now, um, what I'll do is I'll add a cube, just like I did before, um, as the zone marker for this case. And I'll scale it down. Now, because we uh, had uh, the materials brought over, I've still got my zone material that we used before, which is a dark color. It's just arbitrary. And I'll just put it down there in the zone somewhere. Okay. Now, these outer materials, we've made them 100 mm concrete. Um, we'll just leave them as the default um, surface uh, exterior wall. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll name this this uh, uh, this this zone marker we obviously have to make it a zone and we'll name it uh, zone 01 there we go and the parents of this outer one out of um, object will be uh, zone 01 the windows uh, here we they're going to be a, of type opening but we don't know what their parents going to be just yet because uh, we use a helper function a bit later to to do that um, now, what I'm going to do is use a script to explode all the uh, linked flat faces. So I'll just move the zone marker to another layer because I don't want to um, explode it. Um, and I'll select all of my objects and just go explode linked flat faces. Okay. Now you can see I've got all of my uh, flat faces are all separate objects. There we go. Uh, if I go back, I'll bring my zone marker back into the first layer. There we go. Now, just to make it a bit easier to actually see, it's always good to um, move the origin to the geometry, just so it's all centered. Then you can see your relationship lines. Now, there's a lot of relationship lines in there that um, are unnecessary, and the reason is because these shading elements are still defined as exterior walls. So what I'll just do is select all of my shading elements here, and that one and these two and the last one I, if I change it here um, surface type shade it only changes the last one so what I want to do is use the copy object type to selected feature and that changes them all now to a type shade there we go now these openings still don't have a parent defined on them. They have been exploded, so they're all separate objects, but they don't have parents just yet. So what I just do is select all my objects and I'll go um, auto detect and assigned openings. There we go. And now I've got my opening parents are defined. There we are. For all of my surfaces. Okay. All right, um, now finally um, we, we made all these exterior walls, but that's obviously uh, a roof. So I'll change that to a type roof. And I'll change this one to a type uh, slab on grade. The parents remain the same. And like we did in the uh, first Energy Plus tutorial, this is, was a uh, made of constructions of roof gravel and whatnot. But that's really easy to do now because all I have to do is just go in there and add on my roof gravel add another layer to add on my roof insulation and then add another layer to add my 100 mil concrete for example whatever it might be uh, now um, I haven't still haven't set my infiltration so remember in order to add infiltration I needed my always on schedule uh, it could be called anything but I just call it always on 
So there's always infiltration there. Value of 0 0.2. If I go back to the objects and select my zone, I can have air changes per hour using the always on schedule. Design flow rate of 0 0.2. Uh, I probably want to add some reports in there, so I'll add in the zone air temperature. And like we did before on this one, I'll add in the reporting of the surface convection heat rate. Um, and what else do I need to do? Uh, and uh, the, the reports here, um, I'll add an uh, outdoor dry bulb temperature for the scene uh, reports. Um, everything else is uh, le le left as default as we did in the original case. We've got our schedules. We won't worry about HVAC systems for now or airflow networks, but they come later. Um, so what I should be able to do now is just select all of my objects. I'll save this as test case 05B. I should now be able to go export Energy Plus and you should see Energy Plus is exported. Don't worry about those other areas, um, there's some bug uh, in the API. And um, now I should be able to go to Control and run Energy Plus. So again, it's just running. I haven't updated it to Energy Plus version 5 just yet, but that's coming. Uh, it should only take a second. There hasn't been a lot of changes in between Energy Plus 5 and 6, so it's um, gone from uh, July, uh, August, September. Um, it's nearly done. There we go. All done. Now I can just um, open up the results viewer. And there's my results that I asked for and I can line plot get rid of that window move the legend over there and if I zoom in on a typical summer's day because that summer is the interesting time here in Australia um, let's go to around about there look something interesting alright same sort of thing happening as what happened before we've got um, the uh, that eastern wall getting it heats coming through it in the morning obviously when the sun's shining on it um, uh, the, uh, the because of the um, thermal mass of the hundred mil concrete we've got a bit of a, a delay between the peak outdoor dry bulb temperature and the internal um, peak temperature so there we go that uh, that does it for the um, Blend me sort of energy plus um, helper scripts uh, that help you to reuse um, data and materials from other um, um, cases that you've you've made up. You can build up a library of materials uh, as you build more and more models. Um, so you, so everything is reusable. Um, you don't have to keep entering in all the data and properties for concrete and and all that every every single time. Um, and all the helper scripts help. You, it should be able to help you make, uh, um, even from rather complex models, should be able to help you to explode the faces and link them to zones and parents and whatnot um, uh, within with just a few steps. All right. Thanks very much for listening.